call me S K E P T A. Before I start, I just wanna say, boy, better know. What's up guys, Fluid here and I'm bringing you episode 5 of Road to Second Informed. As you so I've spent the 99k which I had in the last episode. I've still got 1k left but I'll probably buy a few more silvers after I'm done here. So going into the trade pile, I bought a Javi Martinez in a 4-2-3-1. This is the Second Informed, the 86 version. He gone for 18,500 and he's been uh, circulating around about 22 to 23k so I'm going to stick him up for 23k. Stick him up for 3 hours just because I want to get an episode out episode out quickly and then moving on to possibly the only silver which I got. I've got a load of silvers in my watch list as well but I'll show them afterwards. So Helgson, I got 250 coins, I'll try and get 750 out of him. Schmelzer, I paid 19,254. Uh, he's possibly the only good left back. I think that's Panda as well but this guy's really good as well. Uh, I paid 19,250. He goes for around about 23k as well so hopefully he'll sell for that. Andy Johnson is actually being priced for I bought him for 20k and a 4 1 2 and 2. Uh, normal formations are being priced fixed at around about 24k, so I'm hoping to get around about 22k. Uh, that's That would be very lucky if it does. I'm just hoping that this price fix doesn't affect my selling. And then next to Monrail, or however you say his name, he's the left back for Malaga. I paid 13,500 for him. There's hardly any on the market actually. I'm going to try and get about 17k out of him. Uh, 16,500 he will for sure sell for, which is what I'm going to go for. Uh, Petroipa I paid 11,500 for. I'm hoping for around about 13 to 14k. Uh, 13k will probably be the maximum I'll get, but I'll try and get about 30,250. And the final player which I got was Naxto Monrail, which I'm going to pull up for now. I'm going to show you what's in my watch list after. I've got a load of silvers in there. I basically spent about 8k on silvers. I paid 13,500 for Naxto Monrail. And I'll look for 16k, that'll be a nice 2k profit on him. And that's what I got up for the moment. In my watch list, I've just got a load of silvers. I paid 250, 300, 300, 300, 300, 200 for that 28 pace striker. What a beast. I'm hoping someone will just buy him for his 28 pace. That's what I did. Uh, I could probably discard him for more as well. So uh, 250 again and 300. So this is going to be it for the first part of the video. I'm also going to stick up these players as well. And I'll be in the I'll be back in the second part of the video to see what's sold. Alright lads, I'm back and as you can see now I'm on 113k. So as I said before at the start of the video, I said that it was extremely hard to trade because I think I've only made about 15k in this episode and that most of the players which sold took ages to sell, especially this informed Johnson. He took absolutely ages to sell. He was in a 4 one 2 and 2 when I sold him in the end and he only sold for 22k. I believe I bought him for 20k. But let's go back to what sold. So this Mexican player sold for 750 coins. Uh, Vaughan sold for 700 coins. The left back, 23k, I got for him. Schmelzer, yeah, he sold for 23k. I think I bought for 20k. Johnson finally sold for 22k. This guy sold Petroipa, he sold for 13,250. 13, I think he's been discarded, which is unfortunate for the guy who bought him. Uh, this guy, Kuyati, he sold for 600 coins. I got 23k for Xavi Martinez, which is actually really good. I don't think his his price has dropped, but I think he's hovering around 23k. So he sold pretty quickly in the end. Uh, this guy sold 500 coins. Is that Helgeson? Yeah, Helgeson sold 750 coins. Uh, Naxto Morella, he sold for Monreal even. He sold for 16,500. Uh, this guy sold for 700 coins. Full up, I think that is. Uh, this Fiorentina player sold for 600 coins. And the final player which sold was Naxto Monreal. He sold for 16k and I've still got two places left to sell. So my question for you guys is, uh, I really want to do a gameplay series on my channel. So if you could leave something in the comments saying what kind of series you want to see on my channel. Uh, I don't really want to do a Road to Glory just because uh, it's been overdone and I want to have some new aspect to my channel. Like a new series because I haven't done gameplay on my channel in about four months. Which is absolutely insane to go this far about gameplay is incredible. And... I'm going to finish off this episode with 113k so I'll be back in the next episode with 113k to sell and that's going to be it for the video guys so I do hope you enjoyed it if you haven't enjoyed it leave a like on the video and I'll be back in the next episode so I'll see you guys then.